This tutorial outlines my workflow for processing star photos in Lightroom. This image was made in Acadia National Park last September. The first thing you'll notice is the copper sky, which is unnatural. That's because it was taken well after twilight and there was no sun to pass light through the atmosphere. We'll be fixing that here. But before we do that, let's go down to the camera calibration section of the panel in Lightroom. What I'd like to do is pick a profile that gets me started by bringing out the sky a little bit more than the default of Adobe Standard. If I walk my way through, camera landscape is too dark, camera neutral is too light, camera portrait is a little bit better, camera standard seems to do the best job at bringing out the stars in the Milky Way, camera vivid is too dark. So I'm going to come back to camera standard and use that as my starting profile. Next, I go up to lens correction and check this box called Enable Profile Corrections. This causes Lightroom to recognize the lens I was using and make automatic changes to correct any lens discrepancies. Then I go back to the top of the panel and work on changing the white balance to restore a blue sky. I usually do this by picking tungsten to get started, but tungsten adds a lot of blues, in fact too much. So I'm going to tame that by reducing that down to about 3400. In addition to adjusting the temperature, I will also add some tint towards the magenta side, say 10 or 15 percent, so that I begin to get some of that color uh, in the Milky Way. Then I go down to the tone section, and here the biggest thing I'm going to do is add some contrast. I normally add 20 or 25 percent contrast. This has the impact of darkening the blue sky, but brightening the stars in the Milky Way, which is what I want. Since I've darkened things quite a bit, the foreground and middle ground, I'm going to restore some of my shadows by adding about 30% shadows. I'm also going to brighten my, my whites, which in this photo is represented by the stars in the Milky Way mostly. And then I'm going to restore some of my blacks a little bit as well to compensate for the increase in contrast. Next, I go down to the Presence section and I'm going to add clarity. In fact, I'm going to add quite a bit of clarity. I usually add 40 to 50 percent clarity, which has the impact of really popping the stars in the Milky Way. I will also add some vibrance to deepen the color of the sky and again of the Milky Way. And in this case, I will add 25 percent. Then I go down to the Use Saturation and Luminance section and I will take, use the selector to increase a little bit the color of the Milky Way uh, towards uh, uh, deeper blues and magenta. I'll add uh, 15 or 20 percent at the very most. And here you can see that the color uh, is coming back in the Milky Way. The other thing I will do is I will reduce noise. Now I'm using a camera that has a very excellent ISO performance here, so I don't need to do a lot of noise reduction. So this varies depending on your camera. In my, the, my camera, I can reduce it uh, by about 25%, and that's more than adequate. So I will do that. Now, the last thing I'm going to do, because I find the grass to be too bright, is I'm going to use a brush and lower the exposure of this grass by about 0.4, just so that it, it's not so prominent in the photo. And there you are. So if we look at the before image, we have that. And we look at the after image, we have that, just from some simple toggles in Lightroom. So we're well on our way to a good photo. At this point, I would go into Photoshop and make some additional tweaks. And that's all there is.